Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, once again, my name is Crow. I am here as the Gundam Safety Manager to ensure that this mobile suit that we are receiving, the Eclipse Gundam, is in safe operations and can actually perform all the functions and function checks appropriately before we send it out to the battlefield. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start rolling into this. All right, so for the manufacturer, we are going to have Orb and New Type. Uh, these are going to be the manufacturers for this particular mobile suit. So uh, if we do need any kind of equipment or any kind of fixes, something, parts, we can go ahead and contact them and allocate those 1106 funds to the manufacturer. So let's go ahead and make a note of that. Next is going to be the details. So the details I'm going to have right here is this mobile suit is 22.18 meters in height. Ooh, that is a big boy. So this is definitely going to be towering some of the previous mobile suits that we've had in this hangar, such as the RX 78F00. Uh, this is definitely towering right over that. And the next we're going to have is the weight, which is 56.4 metric tons. It is heavy, and this is without the striker packs. Once we attach those striker packs on there, you can believe this thing's going to be back heavy. And it's also just going to be a hefty boy. So let's make sure that we are getting all the proper checks done and not just, you know, slapping things on here to add more weight. Let's just make sure the foundation is good, okay? Now for the armor, we are going to have phase shifting. So what that means, it utilizes electricity and it can kind of coat itself in a way that reduces physical damage. So make sure that that is actually operational, guys. All right, don't be joking on that. I don't need it going out there, taking a full blunt, like, back slap to the face Bam, it loses all of his cameras because that phase shift armor did not reduce the blunt damage. All right, and it also has a barrage colloid, which allows it to go into a stealth type maneuver. But uh, other than that, let's go ahead and start rolling into the articula. I did not just see. What, what the fuck are y'all doing? I don't know who said y'all can wear swim gear in this goddamn hangar, but y'all need to get that shit out. And y'all need to put on the proper clothes and proper PPE if you're going to be working in this hangar. I did. Hey, just who are you? I'm the general manager for this facility. I make sure these fucks are doing their job. And when there's time, they can lounge around. Well, as the GM, I'm pretty sure that's not very OSHA-like. OSHA means dick. This is Anaheim Electronics. We just shot a guy in the back of the factory yesterday. He was selling secrets to Xeon, but he wasn't getting enough money. For God's sakes, we have bald children with electrodes attached to them. We taser them repeatedly and try to get them to move a mobile suit's finger. Something about being new type. Terry, I told you to stop using the Gundam move for sexual gratification. You aren't right up, mister. Yeah, what were you saying again? Uh, we'll get back to your job. This son of a bitch. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. I got you. I got you, man. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving. Y'all get the fuck out of here, and y'all change our goddamn clothes. So let's go ahead and move on to the articulation of this mobile suit, all right? Now, overall, the articulation, it, it's, it's fine for the most part, all right? The major issues I'm going to have, guys, is the feet. Those tiny feet. It's a little bit problematic when it's in the atmosphere and on the ground because I'm not seeing how exactly this thing's gonna be holding up any kind of massive weight. Those are the tiniest feet I've ever seen on a mobile suit. So uh, yeah, that's just a little bit on the the odd side. Don't know why they chose those kind of feet, but um, hopefully the stability it, it's fine for the most part. So it really shouldn't have issues until you start adding those uh, those striker packs. Now with that, I think it's fine if we went ahead and start moving out to the test field. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out the transformation. And we're also going to check out the weapons that it has. Uh, so let's go ahead and make our way down to the town. Alright guys, so now that we're out here, we can take a look at some of the weapons. Alright, we are going to have the beam shield. Uh, let's go ahead and check that out. Now 
Next we're going to have is the beam rifles. Uh, those are going to be on the hips. So let's go ahead and pull those out and see how they test. All good, all good. All right, let's deploy the beam sabers now. Alright, so everything checks out. Uh, let's throw one of the striker packs that we have right on it. Alright, and lastly, let's take a look at that transformation, see how it looks and how it performs. Now with all that observed, the only issues I'm really seeing right now is going to be the weight. Uh, the weight is a little bit of a concern, uh, mainly with the striker pack add-on. Uh, the stability, those feet are pretty goddamn tiny, so I don't know if we can go ahead and make them a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, so that way, whenever it is standing in the atmosphere, on the ground, it's not really gonna have any issues toppling over. Other than that, Everything I'm seeing with this thing, it looks great. It has the weapons needed to go out there and do some good battling. The armor, the face shifting armor is fantastic. It does have cloaking capabilities. So look, this is going to be a cleared for me. Uh, the report will be sent to you guys. So just make sure that you get the uh, corrective action report sent to me at a timely manner. And uh, we can go ahead and approve this mobile suit for combat action. But other than that, thank you all for attending, and uh, I'll be seeing you all in the next safety inspection, guys. All right? Papa bless, and uh, fair winds out there.